So we so we rented a scooter. And uh, we just arrived at the uh, Fort of St. George. Hello YouTube, my name is Manuel. Follow me and together we will explore the best of you. Nudist beaches, nudist beaches are uh, we encountered a lot already here on this so if you're into that this might be the place for you also if you're not into that this might be the place for you as well they have very nice beaches tourism is really starting to come up here like in the marina you can see they have places to they rent bicycles, electrical bicycles, scooters, cars, everything you need. There are lots of bars where you can drink something, coffee shops, you have coffee, you can get breakfast, uh, it's, it's plenty. You know this is the place to be and you can see some super yards docked there on anchor Daar dan? Ja, ik zie het. Ja, en tijdens de winter voor jullie is die galerie in het museum en tak gesloten. Ah. Die is daar wel in de winterperiode. Oh mijn god. De British on this.
So that concludes our tour of the George III fortress. We continue to Komitsa now. While on our way, we'll show you the harbor from the other side as we pass there anyway. Here we have a better view over the marina. Including our boat there. You can see all the nice little restaurants, cafes. There's another harbor a little bit away. It's uh, over there. I think it's more quiet there, but all birds were occupied, so we didn't have any, any space last night, so we came here. We tried calling in for reservations, but it's not a single number that was uh, answered. There's a buoy field in between. Some people like to moor on a buoy. Why not? I very much like these palm trees here. They give you bit of feeling that you're on an exotic island so Monastery of Saint Jerome Okay guys, that was it for this episode as new in the world of YouTube we could really use your help and you can do this by giving us a like and if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel so it would really help us. Thanks, bye guys.